What's up everybody, Reps to Reality here. I'm gonna be showing you guys our beginner back workout. Back's are really large muscle groups, you wanna make sure you're hitting it properly, and we're gonna show you that in this video. I know these videos may not be as entertaining as our vlog videos, but I wanna make sure that everybody's doing the movements properly. You know, you can have fun in the gym, but you gotta make sure you have the form down right so you don't hurt yourself. So if you're not already going to the gym, make sure you start going. So let's go train. All right, so the first movement we're gonna be doing is lat pull downs. It's gonna work on the width of the back, so it makes it wider. So first thing, you take a seat, you want to make sure this padding is adjusted so that your legs are comfortably underneath and there's no gap, so that way I don't start going up with the weight. The other thing, when you're sitting down, you want to make sure that when I'm looking up at the bar, your chin is directly under the bar, so you don't want to be out here, otherwise it starts turning, and turning into a rowing movement. You want to be directly underneath. You want to make sure that your shoulder blades are back or your scapula is retracted when you're doing the movement. As far as grip placement with your hands, at least pass shoulder width apart, but you may have to play around with the grips to see whatever's comfortable for you. Everyone's got different size of limbs and they feel the contraction differently than other people, so I hold my grip like right here. So the starting position, I'm all the way up into the padding because that our machine's kind of bad. So this is your starting position. So my back's in place and I pull the bar down so that I'm contracting my lat. So it's this kind of movement where I, this muscle here, I'm contracting it like that, and that's what you're going for. So, again, starting position, and then this will be your finishing position, which is mid-chest. So, essentially, my elbows come a little bit to behind my side. You can see that. Just like that. You want to make sure that you don't bend your wrist when you're doing this movement. So I go straight down to my wrist. That way, as soon as you start bending your wrist, you start losing tension. So you'll see a lot of people go like bring too low and both bend their wrist. That's when you lose tension. So make sure your wrist stays straight the whole time. About it. The next exercise I'm going to show you guys is seated cable row. There's different variations as far as the type of handle you can use. We have a couple here just for example. They're all going to hit the back a little bit differently. But for this purpose I'm going to show you the close grip one which is essentially the easiest and my favorite. So really simple. Get a position like this. Slight bend in the legs at the knee. And you want to make sure your back is an arch. Just like all these other movements you want to keep your shoulder blades back and it's arching your lower back. And again, thumbs on the outside of the bar so you eliminate the forearm use. And you simply just pull your elbows back. So my arms are 90 degrees. And you want to keep your elbows right to your side. And you want to make sure that when you're doing this movement, your wrists don't bend like this. Getting into position, you want to try to keep them as straight as possible. That way it keeps constant tension on your back. So I'll show you guys again. Full stretch. Back. Stretch out the lat. The back. Okay. Alright, so the third exercise I'm going to show you guys is going to be bent over dumbbell rows. So, first thing, replacement. If I'm working out the right side of my back, I'm going to put my left leg on the pad like this. When my foot is right up against the edge of the pad like this, with my left hand, I'm going to come down on the pad and it's going to be essentially perpendicular to the floor. So that way my back is almost parallel to the ground. And you want to keep a slight arch in your lower back. So like this, you want to keep your core nice and tight. And with my right leg now, I'm going to put it in a position that's comfortable for me. But you want it to be out enough where when you're doing the rope, your hand's on the inside. So you don't want to be like this. You want to be like this. And my foot is just about where the back of the seat is. So I'm going to be like this. And the movement's going to look like this. My, hand, my arm is just hanging straight down perpendicular to the ground and I'm just going to look straight up like this so my arm comes into a 90 degree shape and essentially the dumbbell is going to be at my stomach area so a little bit lower than your lower chest so it's just going to be like this and the best way to do this movement is to lift with your elbow so you're not trying to use your arm to like bring it up like this you're using your elbow and you're bringing it back you want to squeeze your back at the top so just going to this straight up and down so I'm going to show you guys that with weight. So I bring the dumbbell to the bench. 
to get in position. I'll grab the weight. Starting position. I'm gonna have a slight bend in the elbow, so you never want it to be fully locked out. Slight bend in the elbow. And you want it to be down enough where. So I do the movement. I'll go all the way up. And when I get to the bottom, my shoulder just starts going down with it. So I'm at the very end, I slack my arm, and then the shoulder starts going down with it. That's gonna be your ending position. So that's as low as you wanna go. And I wanna bring it up straight to your stomach, and that's gonna be your end position. That's it. All right, so the last exercise I'm gonna show you guys is gonna be the diagonal pull machine. So first thing, the seat. You wanna adjust the seat so it's higher or low enough, so that when you take a seat, the handles are gonna be just out of reach, so that way when you're doing the movement and you're at the top position, you can actually kind of stretch your muscle, your back out. So, the way this works, when you have it high enough, you kind of just give it a knee and it drops down into position. So, as far as hand placement, you can hold it anywhere. I notice that when I have the uh, underhand grip, I feel it more on my back. And in general rule of thumb for a lot of these movements, any kind of rolling movement, you want to keep your thumb on the outside of the bar like this, not around the bar. That way it eliminates more of your forearm use. So, grab the bar like this, get a position, take this thing down, and you pretty much, same thing, you want to have the, your scapula retracted or your shoulder blades pinched back, and you want to keep a slight arch in your lower back, and you simply just pull the bar down, use Try and pull it with your elbow in rather than your hand. So we get more of a squeeze in your back, drawing the elbow in. And you want to keep your elbow right to your side. So it's in a straight line going down through the whole movement. Just like that. And you want to go as far back. You can even have a slight twist in the back just to get it more of a squeeze in your, in your back. Just like that. That'll be your finishing position. And then starting position, stretch. Come back down. You can do both of them together at the same time, but I notice when I do a single arm, I get a better squeeze because I can do that turn a little bit and get a full, full squeeze in the back. Whereas with both hands, you tend to start coming off the pad and you lose a little bit of the, of the movement. So again, whatever's comfortable for you. And then the same thing with the other side. All right, another successful back day. So some general advice is for back day. Any type of overhead pulling movement, you're gonna be working on width in the back. Any type of rowing, you're gonna be working on thickness in the back. So as far as any rowing movements, you wanna make sure you keep your thumb on the outside of the bar, as I showed you guys before, to eliminate the use of your forearms. You wanna to try to keep in mind to try to pull with the elbow rather than using your hands, because then you start working your bicep more. So if you pull with the elbow, you'll feel it more in your back. All right, so the last bit of information I'm going to give you guys on back day is that it's such a large muscle group and there's so many different variations. So you want to make sure you hit it at different angles. The four exercises I showed you are just basic beginner movements that is going to be good for anybody that's starting out. So there's other movements like deadlifts, which is the best exercise you can do for your back, but it is a complex movement, which I'm not going to show you guys for this video particularly. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it, like and subscribe to our channel and share our video. Summer's four months away, so start training. We're going to be shooting more of our vlog videos, which are going to be a little bit more entertaining. 